I found the paper on the left several months ago, which really excited me as making graphite oxide is a real pain, but I've not had any success replicating it. The papers on the right are references with similar techniques but using different liquid electrolytes. The process seems simple. It's a two-step process. First, submerging flexible graphite foil in a 98% solution of sulfuric acid with it connected to the anode of a power supply, and I'm using a stainless steel wire as the cathode. It is submerged for 20 minutes with 1.5 volts applied. The graphite undergoes some expansion during this step. After that, the graphite that was submerged should have a blue coloring, which I never achieved. The graphite is then pressed to remove excess sulfuric acid, then it's submerged in 50% solution of sulfuric acid and water. It is connected in the same way as the first step, but now has 5 volts applied. The exfoliation is immediate, and it should have a yellow color because of oxidation, but again, I don't see it. I then clean it with deionized water using vacuum filtration and let it sit in water. As you can see, it's obvious that there is no graphite oxide on the right, compared with the graphite oxide I made using a modified Hummers method on the left. Now I'm going to show you the supplemental video that came with the research paper. And right off the bat, you can see the liquid is too clear to be sulfuric acid. In both steps, the liquid is clear, and likely some other electrolyte that I haven't figured out. I tried the first step using a 50% solution, but the results are the same. At this point, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or the authors haven't been truthful. There have been many research papers that I've come across that didn't work, so it wouldn't be a surprise if that's the case. So I'm asking you all for help. If anyone can comment on what I did wrong or have any ideas what I can try, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll make a new video if there's any progress.